Yo, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Yo, what's going on, Paul Nation? How you doing, brother? We're trying to figure out what reels we need for the upcoming 2021 season. I know you're a spinning guy, if I remember correctly. I believe so. Yo, what's going on, Todd? How you doing, brother? Where are you fishing at tomorrow, Todd? Yo, how's it going, Joel? I'm trying to decide what kind of reels we want. I really wanted the orange and black rockets, but um, from what I was originally quoted, they uh, raised the price quite a bit. TNT, huh? I haven't heard of that one. The, the place that has the reels, these blue cart masters, is in South Carolina, I think. I think it was called Laurel and Harding or something like that. They seem to have the best deal on them. Uh, that I could find or see anyway. You guys probably got some good weather down there still. It's kind of dropped back down into the like 20s and 30s here. Of course, I guess that's warm for this time of year, really. So, Todd, what kind of reels are you using? I've seen a couple people that had sets of the uh, blue cart masters on some blue rods, and they look really good. What's up, Zach? Uh, is he a pretty good guy, Todd? <clears throat> I don't personally know him. Um, but yeah, he seemed to have the uh, best price from what I could tell. The green carp masters. Are you talking about the ones that come from Abby Garcia? Um, from their website? or? Yo, what's up, Dylan? What's up, Caleb? How you doing? Uh, hey, members, I added some new emojis. Uh, check them out. One of them is a, uh, that's what she said. It's like my head. <laughs> and it says, that's what she said. Gotcha, Todd. I, I got you. Like I said, I really, really wanted the orange and black um, rockets. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is right there. There it is. Yo, Steve, what's up, brother? I did one uh, for like when we get a donation. It says cha-ching. It's some dollar signs. Got that one here, fishy, fishy. Yes, sir. Zach found them all. Yo, what's going on, Brian? Brian, we added some new emojis. Um, might check them out. <clears throat> moonshine, huh? Uh, Steve, I couldn't find any good deals on the Moonshine uh, Rockets. L like I said, I really, really wanted the orange and black or the pink and black or even the purple and black. But, I mean, I thought that they were going to sell them for 200 bucks a piece shipped. And uh, once I was ready to purchase, the price was like 60 bucks higher or something like that. And I was like, no, nah, I think I'll pass. It's a lot of money to spend on three three reels. Nice, Caleb. Good luck, brother. Zach, I would love to get them, but I, I mean, that extra 60 bucks is a deal breaker for me, I think. Uh, Yeah, Jake, or, but you're talking about the bait runners or the quick drag reels. Uh, gotcha, Todd. But are they the, the ones that you can buy on Abby's website? Yeah, tell me about it, Zach. The uh, the blue ones, I can get those for four fifty for a set of three. You know, um, I think they look really good. Let me show you guys what they look like. I got a picture pulled up here. I got three of them actually. So let's see here. <clears throat> um, whoops. Let's do this. All right. So there's one. Take a look. That's pretty, isn't it, guys? 
maintenance party. <clears throat> and then we got pick number two. That one's out of focus, so you can't really see it. Dang it. Um, that's the third pick, or the, yeah. So. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Awful purdy, isn't it? Awful purdy. Yo, what's all going on, John? Um, my only thing is I have black and orange rods. <laughs> That's my only thing. But yeah, like I was saying though, Zach, for sure, I would love to get the orange and black, but that extra 60 bucks, man, I just, I can't push myself to do it. Uh, yeah, Joel, I mean, there's a lot of different level wine uh, reels out there for sure, brother. Uh, yeah, Jake, they don't have to match. That's the thing. Um, I agree with that. I had pink and black on the, the orange and black Whisker Secret Rods before, and they look pretty good. So I think the blue and chrome, they'll probably be all right, you know. You guys got a hookup on the orange and black? Let me know. Let me know. I thought about selling three of my seven foot six um, whisker seeker rods and trying to find some blue rods that might work with those reels. Um, and uh, if anybody just come in that's a member, um, check out the new emojis. Zach posted some up um just a few minutes ago and they're pretty cool if i do say so myself one of them is basically my forehead and it's a, like a goofy look and says that's what she says yep that's it that is it and then like i said we got the cha-ching for donations and then we got a red carp for a here fishy fishy uh steve i don't i don't know brother I did some for some pickups the other day and it took two or three days to fill up. I thought about getting an extra blue um, Park Master and trying to do one on that. But I'd hate to hate for it to take a long time, you know? We got the, hey, get bit, baits and flavors, guys, right here. We got the shirts, boys. I got a, uh, a 2XLT long sleeve like this one. And if anybody needs a 2XLT. <laughs> well, Gary, I'll tell you what. I can't really afford it, but uh, it's one of them deals that I just sold my other reels to pay for these reels. So. Oops. But if you've bought cheap ones over a long span than the break or anything else, uh, you, you know, you're really better off to buy the better ones. And then that way they always hold their value. And Oh, yeah, cool, Zach. Um, like I said, I, I bowl on, in Newcastle on Thursdays, brother. So. You know, I heard a story one time. Fine thing. It was, uh, some lady was asking a guy if he, like, drank or something. She was, like, an accountant. I forget how it really went. She said, do you drink? And he's like, yeah. And she told him how much money he could save in a month on that. And she said, do you smoke? And he said, yeah. And she told him how much money he could save in a month. And then, like, I forget, like, 10 years, you know, he could own a Ferrari. And, uh, you know, if he didn't do all those things. And then... He said, do you drink? And she said, no. And he said, do you smoke? And she said, no. And he said, where's your damn Ferrari then? So, <laughs> um, the truth is, no matter what, we're going to spend it. Um, I don't know anybody that can put money back myself. Uh, Joel, you know, if you buy rockets, they're, you know, I mean, it might take you a minute to sell them, but they hold their value. I mean, they're, they're kind of like having money in the bank, really. 
Todd, I would love to get him, but that sixty dollars, man, I'm telling you, because you got to figure. I mean, six hundred and sixty bucks for a set of reels. I just I can't bring myself to do it. I was sold at six hundred. I was like, yep. Yeah. Uh, my message, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna do a stream, and. I said, I want either the orange and black, the purple and black, or the pink and black. I said, I'm going to do a stream, and I will let my chat choose whatever color I get. And I said, 600, right? And they're like, no, it's a 660. I'm like, well, I can't do that. You know? So, looking at the blue ones here. Is that for four of them, Todd? Because I guarantee you, if that's for four, if it's the new ones, once you ask them, then they're going to say, well, we're going to charge you sales tax, even though you're not even in the same state. And then they're charging you a whole bunch for shipping, too. Probably be closer to 900 man. Let's see. Uh, well, John, I have to let it change my mind. At 600 I was like, oh, I hate to do this. But at 660, I'm like, nah, no way. No way. Nice, Chad. Yeah, I mean, and you know, I think I might do a video on how to mod the cogwheel as well. I have the C clips, E clips, C clips, whatever you guys want to call them. We might mod the cogwheels. I may even buy some bearings just to show you guys. The difference and stuff. Yo, what's going on, John? How you doing, brother? Twenty-two people watching. Appreciate y'all. If you could hit that thumbs up. Uh well, Zach. The way that they do those reels, I guess, is um, it's basically just people down in the North Carolina area that can get them. They're custom made. Uh, yeah, John, he just switched over to casters. He's going to love them, though. I already know that. Uh, Mark, I, bait casters. Yeah, Joel, I feel you, brother. I feel you. <clears throat> if somebody would have told me uh, three or four years ago that I was even contemplating on spending 600 on a set of reels, I just said, you lost your mind. But uh, over time, I've realized that, like I said, if you buy, if you buy like a Chaos, um, you know, it's a cheaper reel. It works great. Nothing wrong with it. But the resale value, I have no idea what it would be on a Chaos. Um, but if you buy an Abby Garcia, just like the Blue Carp Masters, what happens is once they sell out of that color, um, then they're hard to get. So they'll actually hold their value. Sometimes they go up in value. Um, all the uh, special colored reels I've had, I've actually bought them and then made money the next year when I sold them um, because they were really sought after. Todd, the Caribbean looks good, man. See, I, I thought those were 220 a reel because I had thought, well, 220, that'd be pretty rare, you know, 660. And then changed my mind. Yo, Sogo, what's going on, brother? <laughs> oh man, that's no good. That is no good. Hey, at least he was out there fishing though. Sounds like fun to me. Um, but any any of you guys have a hookup on some reels? If you do, let me know. Um, love to get some something different. I know when we were doing the Fortnite thing the other night, uh, Tyler said that he, uh, his buddy had those beasts, and uh, I didn't message him until yesterday, and he said his buddy already sold them. But that would have been a, a good reel to try out, especially for the price. My button. <clears throat> uh, they're never useless, Soga. God, I love Black Rockets. Love them. That's one of my favorite reels. It wasn't that I didn't like them. I just, every year I like to change it up. <laughs> so, 
I definitely didn't dislike the black ones. Mark, when I read that, I thought that said, have you ever tried porn? And I was like, what? But no, I've never tried the pin reels. Uh, Zach, I've been keeping an eye on it, but everybody I message, like, you know, it, it just, I like to be able to look at stuff and see if they're scratched up or anything like that, you know? Um, usually when I list a reel, I'm, well, not usually, I'm always honest about it. Um, if I have a reel that has scratches, uh, then I will list it and take pictures of it. And people are always like, wow, that's in way better shape than I thought. So, Oh, yeah, Joel, I've seen that. They, they do that every so often. I also saw today in the news that they're supposed to be, like, raising the price of, uh, what is that, the Microsoft Xbox plan or whatever. Zach, I used to love trading around on cars. And I don't know how many times I, uh, you know, like go to a bank, get money out, and go look at a car and, you know, and drive there, and it's supposed to be this or that. And you get there, and you ask all the questions, and you get there, and it's literally a piece of crap. Yeah. So... We went and looked at a Mustang one time, and the picture they had, it, it looked great in the picture. Asked all the questions in the world, and the guy's like, oh, I got more than that in the engine. You know, it's a still. And I'm like, so it doesn't leak. The body's in good shape. No rust, all that. Man, this car is mint condition. Drove two hours to get there, and it had been T-boned. It was bent in half. I was like, are you kidding me? And I messaged the guy, and I'm like, dude. This car's totaled. I asked you about it before I even came, you know, because he said it was meant. And he's like, well, I got more than that in the engine. I figure if somebody come down here and seen the engine, then they'd still want the car. I was like, I said, dude, and this is when my son was younger. I said, I wish I could come up there and knock on the door and meet you. Really did. And uh, anyway, we left. I ended up creating a post. And I put pictures on it. This was a Craigslist deal from years ago. And I put a bunch of pictures of the car. That's the only time I've ever done that. Usually I just keep on scrolling and I don't intervene in other people's stuff. But when he was listing a mint condition car that was actually totaled, I did. I created a post on it with the actual pictures and told everybody to beware if they saw it. The old Craigslist days. I haven't been on Craigslist in forever. Hey, we might check Craigslist for some uh, some reels. What do you guys think? That might be a good place to look. Maybe there'd be some local ones. We got a bunch of people wanting to look at our camper. I'd love to get that thing sold. Wish we'd have went with something else. Yo, what's going on, Christian? How you doing, brother? Yeah, for sure. It, it never hurts to check. I'll tell you what. We might just check it on stream here, guys. Give me just a second. I don't think I've been on Craigslist in a minute. All right, guys, let's bring it up and put it on Craigslist there. Oh, so good. The car wasn't going nowhere, brother. It was literally bent in half. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So it looks like we got nothing um, in Indianapolis. See if we got anything in Cincy. Um, nothing I'd be interested in. There's one in uh, 
chill of coffee here, it looks like. Some C3s. It's not a bad deal. 70 bucks for a C3 if it is like new. It's not too bad. See if we got anything in Monte. No, these don't even have pictures, so that would be a no go. Richmond, Indiana. Nothing in Richmond either, guys. Well, it figures, doesn't it? That figures. Yeah, I haven't used Craigslist in forever, Dylan. That used to be the big thing back in the day um, before Facebook really took off. That was a big deal. Uh, that's not pricey at all, Mark. I mean, even 119 that's not bad. Uh, the reels that are in the picture there, the, they are the... Uh, um, the blue cart masters, 6500s, they're 150 a piece. Oh, nice, Michael. Nice. Should be a good setup. And yeah, like I said, man, I, I used to get on Craigslist all the time back in the day. Yeah, Dylan's trying to get me to get a uh, tripod with some uh, bait runners, but I don't think I want to go that route. I enjoy my casters too much. Um, like I said, though, I was thinking about getting an extra blue cart master if people would be interested in a drawing on it. A guy could do like maybe... 10 spots at $20 a spot, and that would cover shipping um, all across the U.S. with insurance. Oh, yeah, a lot of people have cart masters, Christian. Uh, how much are they, Brian? Those millionaires are real pricey now. They used to be uh, 50 bucks a piece, and now they're way up there. I know, Dylan, they are going to be ugly on those rods. I thought about trying out the Mad Cats rods. Um, have you guys seen the Mad Cats yet? Let me pull those up for you. They got some rods that look really good. <clears throat> um, I don't know these people in any fashion or anything like that. You're getting both of them for 25 bucks, Brian? Are they the black uh, millionaires? That's a steal, brother. Um, let me show you guys these uh, rods that Mad Cats has. I don't know if they're any any good or anything like that. Like here's a blue one. Um, the thing I hate though is they're seven foot six. I really like my nine foot six, but they've got medium, medium heavy, and heavy. Um, they look pretty good. I mean, they do not look bad. And their medium action is 1 to 10 ounces. Heavy is, or medium heavy is 2 to 16. And then 4 to 20 ounces. So that's another thing. I wouldn't even know which action to get. You know? Um, I'll show you a couple different ones here. Um, that purple looked pretty good. Let's see here. They had one that was the Patriot. That would look good with those Patriot rockets. Well, at least I think it would anyway. What do you guys think? Yeah, exactly, Joel. That's the thing. 
Two Millionaire Two Six Hundred series. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Brian. If you want to post up the eBay item number in chat, we can take a look at it on chat. Yeah, they don't look bad, Zach. <clears throat> I had thought about those as well, but same thing, you know. I'm thinking two hundred bucks shipped, and you know they're adding a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, Dwayne, I did check Catfish Connection. Sure did. They don't have any special color things or anything for 2021 yet. But yeah, I, I did. I already took a look over there. I should have got some of their purple and black uh, catfish rockets a couple years ago. Those look pretty nice. Dylan, like I said, I was thinking about, I was going to let chat decide um, between the orange, the purple, and the pink. But I can't afford that $660. I got to draw the line on that one. The Chrome Rockets, Christian? Yeah, those are nice. Um, I have a hookup on those. I can get those pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, it says, you know, based off the description for what it can handle on the lid, you'd think it, a medium would be perfect, but... I, I mean, I don't know, you know, that is that the eBay item number, Brian? Let's check. Let's take a look at it. Um, let's see here. All right, let's take a look at the uh, reels that uh, Brian's interested in. All right, so $24.50, uh, $10 shipping. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Those must be a little bit older. Um, I'll be honest, Brian, they're in, they're in pretty rough condition, it looks like. Let's see what the seller has to say. <clears throat> But, I mean, you know, hey, two reels for 35 bucks, you know, can't beat that, really. The ones I were thinking of are black. Um, right here's the ones I was thinking of. And see, that says left-handed, even though the picture shows right-handed. So it's $62.99. Um... That one, well, I guess that one's 70 after shipping. Basically 70 on that one after shipping. <clears throat> so, they went up by a ton. Um, previously, uh, those were 50 bucks a piece. Uh, just like a year, well, I guess probably in 2020, they probably went up. But um, in 2020 or 2019, they were like 50 bucks. And they're, I mean, they're good reels, you know, they're um, a lot different when you take them apart, kind of a pain in the butt to, you know, take it apart and clean it and get it back together. But, I mean, hey, for the money, they, they work good. I've had a couple of them. Uh, Dylan, yeah, just, they only got seven foot six though. They told me they were going to come out with 10 footers in March. Um, I got some news on uh, Pissafun, guys. Starting February 1st, I'll have a code that you guys can use. And not only do you get 18% off of anything they have, but it's also an affiliate link. And that means that if you do make a purchase, um, they give us a slight commission. So it kind of helps support the channel as well. Um, I'm sure it won't be much, but anything's better than nothing, you know? And it's 18% off of anything they have, which is good. Yo, what's up, George? Uh, George, I'm sure you'll get it. 
Uh, yeah, thank you, Zach. Like I said, I mean, I'm not like tied down to them or anything like that, but it's cool that they'll give us a, a link that, um, you know, a link that we do get a little commission off of. I know a lot of people have bought the chaoses uh, just from that one video. So I know probably at least 30 that have been purchased from it. But yeah, that, that won't be till uh, February though. Oh, really? I don't know, Sogo. You're saying you can put the affiliate code in and get what it plus their code? I don't know on that one. Usually their code is like just off of a certain item, you know. This one here, it'll be off anything they have. Uh, Christian got the 2019s. I'm trying to think what color that was. 2019, that was the red one, right? <clears throat> red and chrome, I believe. 2018 was lime green, I believe. And 2017, orange and black, I believe. Or not orange and black, orange and... Were they black? Orange and chrome or orange and black? I can't remember. <clears throat> I've had sets of about all those. I didn't have the red ones, though. For some reason, I'm just not a big fan of the red ones. Just like the Red Rockets. I'm not a big fan of the Red Rockets. That's what she said. <clears throat> now the Patriots, they look okay. They're blue with some red accents. Oh, I got you, Sogo. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Ha <laughs> ha, Zach hitting it up with the That's what she said. Love it. Joel, you're going to have to get you a, a different size rod, brother. That's all there is to it. A 12-footer in a kayak, I don't see how it happens. Uh, Michael, I'm telling you, dude, I, I think I'm going to do a video on those pliers right after I get the link, and uh, then I'll put it in the video description and in the comments. I'll pin it down there, you know. But, uh, yeah, those pliers, they're sweet. I was thinking about asking them if I did a giveaway on a pair, if I could just have them, um, if I bought them, if I could just have them shipped directly to one of you guys. Because I wouldn't mind giving a pair away either. They're, they're pretty nice. I can't remember what they cost. Let's take a look. Let's just, let's just, guys, let's just figure it out. I mean, heck. Let's see what they would be with the uh, with the eighteen percent off. You know what I mean? So looks like the codes that they have right now are fifteen percent off, uh, sixty nine dollars and up, or ten percent off um, all items. So, like I said, my code will get you guys eighteen percent off. Let's uh, take a look at their pliers here. Um, trying to think which ones I have. I believe these are the ones I have. So, um, I have these and I have a pair of the blue. So, let's just figure that up, guys. Let me grab a cal calculator. So, it would be $24.99. And you'd be paying 82% of that, so times 0.82. Yeah, you'd get like five bucks off even on that. That's a good deal, man. 25, 20 bucks for that? That's a pretty good deal. I'm not going to lie. And then I think these are the other ones I have. So, and yeah, I saw that they have replacement um, braid cutters too, which is pretty cool. I would think you could just... Uh, probably sharpen yours up but that one sold out there it looks a little bit cheaper in my opinion but the thing uh that i like all right it's like i said i think these are the ones i have or these are the ones i have uh, the split ring but the braid cutters are there it took me a minute to get used to it 
Um, the other ones I have, the braid cutters are right here. They're on the inside of the jaws. This one's on the top. So, yeah. So it took me a second to get used to that, but I like it better right there after I got used to it. And they got holes, you know, you can put your hook through it. Once you tie it and pull it tight. Um, that's what she said. But yeah. Really nice. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Christian, we, we sure do. Yo, what's up, Paul? Uh, awesome, so good. What kind of idea you got, brother? <laughs> yeah, Joel, I got you. Yeah. Uh, seven, seven sixes are good for, you know, yeah, they're good for carp fishing. But, uh, for me personally, I like the nine foot sixers, you know what I mean? Or a 10 footer. I have no idea why I'm just, I'm really used to them now. Oh yeah. Well, so I'm going to do a video too. If you do one, maybe, um, YouTube will recommend them off each other. You never know. Um, the only thing is with the. The braid cutters, the kudas, I love them to death. Love them. Man, they're a good braid cutter. But they're kind of two different animals just due to the fact that the uh, the pliers, you know, it's got the split ring. So, you, like, if you're a bass fisherman, you can take your hooks off your lures and put new ones on. Uh, and take fish off with them. Uh, the braid cutters work good on the pliers. I mean, they work really. I thought they were the best until I used those scissors, though, those snips. I will give it to them. Uh, as far as cutting braid, those kuda snips, I mean, they're, <laughs> they cut that braid. Uh, yeah, yeah, Paul. Well, I mean, I, I've had the cart masters before, so I know I like them. Just the, the color, you know, they're not going to match, but, um, heck, like I said, saving me $200, $210 that one. Uh, Zach, so you got the Whisker Secret 9 sixes and the 7 sixes. Um, I Like, it took me a minute to get used to the longer ones, but after using them, I like the longer rods myself. What, so on your long ones, uh, what action did you get? I can't remember if they're available in something other than heavy or not. That's what she said, Paul. <laughs> um, nah. It, it, it's just a thing that you have to get used to. I hated them for, well, really, I always said I hated them, but I had no experience with them. I bought a 12-foot rod. Uh, Dylan, if you're still watching, I think you were there, weren't you? I uh, remember I was in the uh, the middle pond there, and I threw it, and it went over the electrical line over by the, the pizza place. And um, I was, heck, I was dumb. I didn't realize that you, I guess you can get electrocuted even through braided fishing line, according to what some people said. They said I was an idiot, but me and Presley, Presley went on the other end and grabbed a hold of it. And he was like trying to help me, um, like hold it so I could get it tight and then pull it real hard and sling it back over the electrical line. So shows you how dumb we are. We could have just cut it. Yo, what's up, Jeff? Oh yeah, for sure. And so I'll tell you something that works, man. Like, um, if a couple people do videos on things, how that works is like your video might get recommended in, you know, after the video plays. So, yeah, for sure, brother. Get you a video up on it. I'm planning on doing one on the pliers. I don't know if I'll compare the two. I might. Um, but, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to do a video. Probably wait till I get the code. Uh, yeah, Jeff, I saw you message, brother, but I, I started streaming at 7 o'clock, so I wasn't able to answer. I'm not sure what you'd asked either. If you want, ask it in chat right here. 
Uh, John, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not kidding you, man. We're sometimes the guy does some dumb stuff, you know. Yo, what's going on, Steve? Uh, Paul Nation, what'd you get? What kind of new rod and reel you got, brother? Uh, Christian, I've got a whole uh, buttload of bait videos on the channel. Uh, Todd, I heard. I think I heard that highway was thawed out and over here at Springwood where I used to do a lot of live streams one of my buddies told me it was thawed out uh the P mix talking about the one it's got like hemp seed and stuff like that it's a uh what do they call it? it's a pigeon feed pigeon feed it has hemp seed um maple peas all that good stuff in it what you want to do is just get online and search for uh, pigeon feed. And uh, you might find a place local. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Um, let me see what the weather is, Todd. I, I don't know what we got going on. I've actually been wanting a little snow to go sledding and can't get it now that I want it. I've got a big hill right across the, the street there. Um, yeah, Zach, I heard some that had a lot of open water. I, m the same buddy that told me Springwood was open. Um, I think he said some of Summit was still frozen. Jeff, you'll just have to look it up on the internet, brother. I haven't bought that. Um, that same kind. I don't even remember what brand it was since the video. Um, yeah, Todd, it looks like it's going to be 30 tomorrow. Uh, frozen mix Sunday, high of 35. And then we're going to be in the 30s, it looks like, for the rest of the week. Jeff, just Google uh, pigeon feed, and you'll find a whole bunch of different ones. I can't even remember the uh, brand. Oh, Lizzie May. Lizzie May, that's the brand. That's what it was. Uh, super expensive, the one that I used. Um, like I said, I don't remember. I, I bought it from Indianapolis, the last bag I bought. I bought like 50 pounds or... No, I think I bought two 50-pound bags. So I still got probably, I don't know, I, I might have more than 50 pounds in a tote downstairs. But I remember it was about 100 bucks a bag, I think. So, 50, it, it might be a different one, Jeff. But, it. I mean, it, you know, the one I had, it has hemp seed in it, um, all that good stuff. Uh, well, that, the cool thing is, so you don't have to drop them like, together. It, it's just uh, YouTube to, like, recommend videos. Um, you've seen it. After you watch a video, it recommends something afterwards. So um, if there's another video on the same thing, uh, you might get lucky or unlucky because I don't know. I don't think my videos hardly ever get recommended. But um, if you do get one, then it can make a big difference. Yo, what's going on, Dylan? Oh, 50 degrees. I got you, Jeff. I got you. <clears throat> like I said, I've never even really had a video um, take off and do, you know, really good. A lot of people, I've seen some people that have videos that have 50,000, 100,000 views. Um, you know, more than that. A lot of people have more than that. My videos, you know, I've got, I've got two videos that hit 10,000 views today. And then I've got some videos that, you know, have six or 7,000 probably. But a lot of the people that have, uh, you know, videos with a lot of views doesn't necessarily mean they have a lot of subscribers either. Um, Joel, I mean, you can put Jello in there, brother. Do what, Do whatever you need to do. Yes, sir, Jeff. That's fishing time. 50 degrees for sure, brother. Uh, Joel, I mean, I don't use Jello. I haven't used Jello in, I couldn't even tell you how long. Many, many years. I mean, it works. But some of the places I fish, you need something a little bit stronger, I think. Yep. Uh, Chow's a good one. Chow's not bad. Boy, catfish like Chow too, though. I'll tell you that. 
I need to do a video on chow in the wild and uh, call it the best catfish bait. Uh, yeah, I love syrup panko. That's a good bait for sure. I started doing it a little bit different, Zach, at the end of the year. Um, I didn't use panko much, but the couple times I did, I think I did like three containers of panko with about 16 ounces of syrup, uh, just straight up. And then I, uh, um, if it was too wet after several hours, uh, then I would add a little bit more panko. If it was too dry, I'd add a little bit more syrup. Feed mill, oats and rice. Yep, all good baits, Jeff. I'll be honest, man. There's so many good ones that that's the cool thing about carp. You know, you can uh, you can catch them on just about anything, really. Just about anything. You can catch them on core, uh, omni, tiger nuts, hemp seed, whatever, man. There's just a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, grits is a good one. 52, man. Yeah, if it was 52 up here, Todd, we'd be out uh, running around with shorts on probably. Uh, yes, sir, Jared. Sure can. Like I said, I, at the end of the year, I'd change it up. And uh, I was just using straight up panko. Jeff, yeah, I've, I've used uh, some energy drinks in it. I'm not a big liquid guy. I like to use uh, liquid, you know, my flavor for the liquid. And then uh, I like to use syrup baits just because they, they don't rot. You forget about one in a bucket. Yeah. Uh, Todd, I use the 20 pound whisker seeker line. And it's like probably about 15 pound diameter of other lines, maybe just a little bit bigger. I'll show it to you real fast. Um, out of all the lines I've used, and I believe me, I'm going to tell you right now, I've used a lot. Um, it's by far my favorite. It sure is. All right, so let's see. I wish we could get like a, I don't know, an affiliate with a Whisker Seeker or something. I think that'd be nice. Let's see here. Did I pass it up or what? Oh, mono and braided line. There we go. I have not tried their braided line, so I couldn't tell you on that one. Um, but I use the big spool and 20 pound. It's 0 0.40. It's $52 and 16 cents. I think they raised that a little bit because I don't think it was that high previously. Uh, you use their 15 pound, Michael. How do you like it? Yeah, it's orange, Todd. It's bright, and that's one thing I like about it. Um, I use my uh, for my leader, you know, I use braid. And yo, what's up, Mark? Uh, Jareth, uh, I got some new emojis out there, brother. Jareth, George, I don't know how long you've been watching. Uh, I know you guys are members, you might check it out. Got a, uh, that's what she said. It's my, like my head looking all goofy. Got a, a cha-ching for when somebody donates, they can post up the cha-ching. Um, got a carp and it says here, fishy, fishy. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what I use. 52, 16 and their one pound spool is. Looks like it's 2,500 yards. So that's quite a bit of line. Sounds expensive, but that's quite a bit of line. Uh, yeah, that's what I think, Michael. Their mono to me is like the least amount. There you go, Jareth, right there, brother. Um, their mono has very little memory. Um, compared to the other ones 
I've used that Cajun before, and it's okay for cheap lawn, but man, that stuff's got a ton of memory. Looks like a slinky when it comes off. My dog's over here acting goofy, guys. Uh, Todd, you use mono or braid? Jason? You're goofy, bud. You're a goofy puppy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Zach, let me come up there and video that. You like the suffix? I've used the suffix, Todd. Um, I had big problems with it. Um, you know, if I threw like a two ounce sinker uh, with a ball of bait, I could break it every time. And I used, uh, I think it was 20 pounds, might have been 17 pounds, whatever that orange one is with suffix. And I literally, I could break it every cast. I heard the Andy Monster was pretty good. Heard it was. I think I saw a video where Dieter Melhorn did or something on it. Uh, yeah, Mark, I use a two ounce. Or what do you use, brother? Do you use smaller, bigger? If you're going to punch one out there 100 yards, you can't gonna do it on a... Uh... <laughs> What's up, babe? That's the wife. You guys might check her channel out. She's got a YouTube channel now. Uh, yeah, Mark, if you're not trying to punch it 100 plus yards and um, three eighths is fine. Yeah, Todd, you're you're safe then. So, uh, if I'm going somewhere where I don't need distance, sometimes I'll use an ounce, but most of the time I just keep it two ounces anyway. I heard there's some in North Carolina that you got to hit a hundred yards on. I don't know, uh, but yeah, Jolene try stuff. That's the wifey right there, guys. If you guys want to check her channel out? She did her first video a couple weeks ago. And Zach, I'm with you, man. That Power Pro, it is some good stuff. Uh, Jeff, you used the big game. Yeah, I know a lot of people do. That's a cheap line. It's pretty strong. Has a lot of memory, though. Uh, where's Curry's at, Christian? Uh, are you from North Carolina, Mark? Uh, Paul, I go try to go where I think I need to go, whether that be far out or close in. Are you from North Carolina, Mark? I could have been fed a bunch of South Carolina, gotcha. I was going to say, I mean, I could have been lied to. So I have no idea. I don't know if it's true or not. But some of us tell me there's one down at North Carolina that. If you want to catch fish, you got to throw it 100 yards in a certain spot. So, Yeah, Whisker Seeker. You know, I've used the big game before. Whisker Seeker. Yo, what's going on, Palmetto? A Whisker Seeker line is a lot better than the big game, but the big game is a heck of a lot cheaper <laughs> than the Whisker Seeker, too. So it's not really a fair comparison, um, but yeah. Uh, Palmetto, what do you think? Did you see the picture of those reels? You think we should pick them up or what? Gotcha, Mark. So you fished in North Carolina then? Somebody told me there was one that was, uh, is it Creekside maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, that should have been the thumbnail, Palmetto. If you got a second, I'll bring it up real fast. Let me pull it up on the old interwebs here. We're thinking about getting three of them. I was going to get the uh, the black and orange rockets, and they kind of raised the price a lot on me, so decided to steer clear on that one. All right, there we go. All right, so that's what we're that's what we're thinking about getting. Um, real pretty reels, I mean. Real pretty reels. The problem is I have black and orange rods. And that's the only problem. So they won't necessarily match. But 
they are a lot cheaper. Um, I can pick up three of those for four fifty um, versus the other ones. I I really wanted they were black and orange, um, pink and or, or pink and black or purple and black. I mean, I thought they were two hundred a piece shipped, and I was going to pick up three and have chat pick the color. And then they came back and told me that they're two hundred dollars, and then they wanted to add in a bunch of other stuff. Uh, yeah, Mark, that's um, Laurel and Harding, I think is what he said it was. I don't know. I've never uh, been there. I don't know the guy, but I think he said he owns Laurel and Harding Lakes or something like that. Uh, Jareth, I know he enjoys that, and I like looking at him on his screen, but I'm going to keep mine original. <laughs> um yeah zach it, you know i love doing those little drawings and raffle things but um i don't you know like the fact that it takes a, a long time to fill one up like that you know i thought about getting an extra uh blue one like that and then um you know maybe running one off for somebody to have a chance to win one really cheap but yeah uh yeah that's his name jimmy or is it Jimmy Dixon or Jimmy Nixon? I was thinking it said it says Jimmy Nixon. Um, Mark is what I'm saying here. And I'll tell you what, just for a comparison, I'll show you guys the uh, the ones I really really wanted. It's unfortunate that. Um, the price isn't what I thought it was going to be. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, we'll see if we can find it. Not looking good on that one. All right. Let me go through our messages. Maybe I can find them there. I, I Here's a picture of the orange and black anyway. Right there is the orange and black. Um, but yeah, there's the orange and black. That's the ones I really wanted, but yeah, they're, uh, I thought it was going to be 600 for three, but it's actually, uh, 660 now is what it is. And I know 60 bucks doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, even at 600 guys, that's a lot of money. I just, I just can't afford it. That 60 bucks is a killer for me. Sure is. Uh, Willow's Lake, yeah, I I think I follow their page, Todd. Uh, for sure, it needs a power handle. I I can agree with that. Um, if, <laughs> that sixty bucks is too much, though, Michael. <laughs> I thought I was insane for gonna pay six hundred for for three of them, and then uh, six sixty, I'm like, nah, I just can't do it. You know, I thought no way. Um, let me see if I can find the other color real fast. Let's see here. I can't remember where she had posted it up. That's the thing. Can't remember. Yeah, one there. Is it this one? 
I don't know. She got so many different Beth Asher Real House things that I can't even, I don't even know. Let's see here. Is this one it? No. There's the purple. Oh, here we go, guy. I think I think I got you right here. I think I got you. All right. So there's the purple and black. Okay. Which I, what I was originally going to do is uh, now that's listed at 220, even though it sold me 200. But anyway, so they've changed the price. But I was going to have you guys pick the color and I was going to buy three reels. Um, but there's your purple and black, your orange and black, and then your pink and black. I don't even like the black and gold myself. So not a fan. But yeah i really really dig these three and i would absolutely love to have them but like i said just on principle um i just can't do it you know um michael did you want to get them for me brother <laughs> mr marillo if you're buying i'm gonna take a set of each one you know what i'm saying Oh, man, I know, Jared. The purple and black, they're slick, aren't they? They are slick. Well, like I said, we're looking at... Oh, good, Brian. I'm glad you did. I know you weren't looking forward to, to getting those. But, um, like I said, we're looking at 100 or We're looking at $210 difference. You know what I mean? That's just a crazy amount of money for three reels. And basically, internally, they're pretty much the same. Uh, Jared, if I still did hydro dipping... I would have some reels that would knock your socks off, but not planning on getting back into it, brother. Uh, Jeff, you have a great night too, sir. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh yeah, George, they sure would. Sure would. I had the uh, I had a set of pinks on my um, orange and black rods, and they actually looked pretty good. Yo, what's up, Jim? Uh, Jim, you didn't. Um, Dylan, he had a set of the uh, Blue 6600 C4s, and I ended up getting them off of him, and I didn't have them long. I never did fish with them or anything. Uh, sold them, but, yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with the C4. It's a good reel. Uh, they have the uh, dual uh, worm gear bearing set up. And most people that buy rockets, that's what they want, so then they go out and spend 60 or 70 bucks on the, the dual worm gear set up. Uh, Todd, you have a good night, brother. Good luck tomorrow, right? Uh, Christian, I thought you said you had chrome rockets, but I just, I had black rockets last year, and I just sold them all. Uh, you know, I wanted to try another color this year. I've never used the older C4s, uh, Michael. Never have. The older C4, I guess, was really basically a C3 with a, uh, let me move up here, guys. It was basically a C3 um, with a thumb bar, I reckon. Uh, yeah, those are pretty reels. Like I said, I'm just not a fan of the red color myself on any of the rockets. I don't like the red rockets either. Um, I'm more of a... Uh, I either like to be really loud with the colors, like those blue, the purple, pink, orange, or I like to go... Uh, uh, Michael, I don't have a 4X yet. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find some of these shirts locally. Uh, Michael, I owe you a shirt anyway, brother. So as soon as I come across the 4X, I'll let you know. We'll get one headed your way. Um, I, I Actually, I do have a... Uh, a blue, I have one blue 4X 
Let me see if I can find it. Hey, bud, can you go ask mom where that one blue 4X is? Yeah. I do have one, but I'm waiting. A guy told me he sent a money order. Um, I forgot all about that. Yeah. He told me he sent a money order like, I don't know, three weeks ago or four weeks ago, and it never showed up. I, I do too, Michael. I want to get you one. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I, I can show you the color of this shirt. Hey, I'm this is right here, baby. Two XLT, and I'm telling you, this this brand here fits really good for me. I'm sending them class, so I can't. Oh, uh, they can't find it, but um, yeah, I do have a blue one. Um, I haven't made it yet because I forgot I was waiting on this guy's money order. I think it's a four X, and maybe it's a three XL. Petite, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know about that one, Michael. Maybe I think maybe I just hide the the fatness better. I got all kind of rolls. I got the jelly roll. I got it all. It ain't petite by any means. Um, so go. I'm gonna do a video on the teardown of the XS50 versus the XS60 soon. Where I work at, they just got a new microphone. I'm charging it up, and they wanted me to try it out for their videos. It's the uh, Rode wireless system, so I may try it out in a video. <laughs> there you go, Soga. I've never, uh, never wore bibs before myself. I bet they keep a guy warm, especially in the wintertime. But uh, and and Christian, like I, I have a hookup kind of on the Chrome ones. I can't remember exactly what they cost, but I can get them a lot cheaper than uh, you know, most people. I can get like a uh, the dealer pricing on it. Oh yeah, I forgot you got both of them as well. Those chaos videos seem to do pretty good, so go so. Well, Christian, we'll wish you good luck, brother. Hopefully you catch a big one. I think the two couple chaos videos I did are, you know, they're like a couple of my top performing vids on a daily basis. So, uh, Chrome is pretty. That's for sure, Michael. And it's a little bit more durable, actually, because it's a little bit harder to finish. You know, if you scratch it, you're in trouble. You can't touch it up, but... If you get like a pretty colored reel, they, you know, and you scratch it, it's super noticeable and it scratches easier, I think. And the Black Rockets, now, if you get like a, a big scratch in it, you could touch it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, Zach, you could. Um, it's, uh, you know, just I used to do paint work and stuff and I really wouldn't want to buy one and have somebody else do it. I wouldn't want it to, you know, come apart and being in the hydrographics business for a few years back in the day, um, I had a lot of people send me stuff that they were excited with and they thought it looked pretty good. And <laughs> um it, it didn't. It was really bad, so Christian, I would love to get some rainbow rockets. You tell me where I can get three of them for 600 bucks and we'll buy them on the screen. Uh, Mark, I mean, I'm not that worried about them either, brother. Zach, I know you think I'm messing with you, but I had one guy send me some coil covers one time. And he's like, man, he's like, yeah, I did my own. He, and this was just painted. It wasn't hydro dip. He's like, I think they turned out pretty good, but I want to upgrade and get a set of yours. So people would send send me their cores, you know, and then it was cheaper on them. And the deal was that if they sent cores, they had to be in good usable condition. And uh, I just threw them away. They were so bad. It would have took so much time to strip them. 
It would have been ridiculous. I'm going to show you a picture of them, Zach. I have it on my Get Bent page. So just in case you guys think I'm messing with you. It was terrible. But a lot of people, I mean, you know, that's the thing. A lot of people, they're just different, you know. Let's see if I can find my page. I don't even see it on here. Let's see here. My pages. What the heck? What the pages? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if I can find this bad boy real quick because I want you guys to see it. I want you guys to see it. You know what? Easy to find. Right at the very stinking top, okay? Right at the very top, guys. Uh, Christian, I don't do Snapchat, brother. You didn't like your uh, 6500 Rockets, Mark? I really like mine. Yeah, I want you guys to check this out real fast. All right, so this is it. And as it says, you know, I was kind of nice. But as you can read it, it says it had a set of courts in it. They were DIY. Wanted to give a comparison between what, you know, basically what I did and what was what he did, right? And, you know, see a lot of people were talking about how they could get good results with $7 spray paint. And this was the difference, okay? You can see the mirror image. All right? This is what their coil covers looked like when they sent them to me. I mean, that's this is what they, and this is what it looked like when I was done. It looks literally like a mirror, okay? Literally like a mirror. And this was with a crappy cell phone from back in 2016 that sucked. So no editing, no nothing like that. Huge difference, guys. And that guy was tickled to death. He was absolutely tickled to death with those. So, oh yeah, George. I mean, the difference was, it's insane. Okay, so I used to do stuff for uh, a lot of cars that were in SEMA. Um, a lot of big car manufacturers I used to do stuff for. Um, it was nuts. And actually, here's some better pictures of those. So, here's, here's a couple better pictures of the ones I did. Whoops. Um, so, you can see my hand. What the heck is going on? You can see my hand there, and then right here you can see that. But, and these covers start off textured, so you got to remove all the texture from them. Um, like here's an engine cover I did. Uh, did it in carbon fiber and painted the top black. But, I mean, you can tell it, it looked like a mirror when it was done. Um... And these are deep impact blues. This is a different color. The other was Kona. But man, that deep impact blue is just gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Some white. I did so many. These are carbon fiber white. But I did so many coil covers. Let's see if I can find some other stuff. There's some door sill plates. Um a lot of carbon stuff there, the black. You know, I really like the uh, gotta have it green carbon fiber. That looked pretty awesome. It sure did. There was my Mustang right there. The, the gold, that looked good. I was gonna see if I had some, uh, if I still did hydrographics, I would do skulls probably on my reels. I think that would look really good. I was going to show you guys, I used to do a lot of paint work. That was for an ambulance around here. As you guys could tell, I was busy. <laughs> Old Papa Bear was, uh, was busy. Um, see you, Brian. Catch you later, brother.
Um, well, the thing about dipping is, uh, so go, um, I keep wanting to call you Nick, but dip is done over paint. So to do it properly, you're using automotive material. Like the paints I use cost, they might cost a thousand dollars a gallon. You know what I mean? Depending on what color it was. So, you know, properly sanding it, um, priming it, uh, you know, just proper preparation. And then you paint it with the automotive, uh, Oh, okay, so but then you paint it, you know, and it turns out good. Then you dip it, you put your dip over the top of the paint, and then you clear coat it um, with automotive clear. It's a lot more expensive if you're doing a, a good job, you know. And then I always did what was called a uh, flow coat. So after it was done, I'd let it set for 24 hours, sand it all the way back down, and then apply two more coats of clear for a flow coat. See you, Christian. Uh, Mark, I would if if somebody had two or three brand new ones for six hundred, I would buy them. But um, but yeah, uh, Zach, the skulls would be cool. I the, some zombie ones that look really sweet too, man. I'm, I'll see if I can find a pig real quick. I know you guys might not be digging it, um, but um, I'm gonna see if I can find. I did a bunch of Harley stuff. I'll show you one I thought was pretty cool. Um, I used to do strippers on the Harley covers as well. You guys might like this one. Whoops. Anyway, um, like I did skulls right here. And then this looked like strippers kind of, you know. That skull was pretty cool. I would do money. I would do flames with money. You got money there um skulls here but right here see that i did like rainbow uh it's called oil slick but rainbow skulls on breather covers um let me see if i can find i did a that was my daughter's helmet for her softball oh uh, right there you can see the money underneath the flames it looked pretty cool i did a lot of emblems I was wanting you guys to see the zombies. There we go. Um, did zombies. You know, we had all kinds of good stuff. Sure did. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's okay, Mark. They were probably used anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, George, it, it's like one of them things, you know what I mean? Um, uh, once you get good at it, it's, it's not a, it's not hard to do. Um, but until you get to that point, yes, it's, it's brutal. And a lot of people watch videos on YouTube and they're like, oh, that's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Right. Until you actually understand it and know how much material to apply, um, you'll waste thousands before you ever get it right uh christian yeah i mean i have i i haven't seen anything for 600 bucks for three of them i sit around and look at reels been looking at them for a week now so but uh yeah and nick so go nick um you know paint works just one of them things that you know there's definitely definitely different levels of it but um you know it's not, you know, for one, you want to have a good, clean place. I had a downdraft paint booth, so. <laughs> so go, you'd be surprised, brother. I actually have a video um, where I did it in my garage um, before I moved into the shop. Um, I, I had to get some stuff done while I was having the paint booth um, put together at the shop. I had to get stuff done in my garage, so I had my tank at the house, and I think I did a video. Now, here's the funny thing, guys. If I had stuck with hydrographics, A, I'd probably be rich. And B, if I'd have done a YouTube channel all about that, um, I would probably be worth a bunch of money. But I never even thought to do it at the time. I could have done where I, you know, like 
for every order i did a video on it showing it and explaining it and could have been really sweet but that time's passed it's definitely hard on the old body and breathing even with a paint booth that you know it's still pretty rough on you but i started painting when i was like i don't know early teenager my dad he's always been into selling cars and you know he was a pretty good body work guy so when i started off young i was like oh man that looks like fun and it is i mean it's you know it it, it was a lot more fun once i had a, a paint booth and everything and uh yeah i don't like to use google to click on a lot of different links mark myself because you never know what you're clicking on you know Oh, 350? Yeah, I would, that's that, that's crazy, crazy. Um, the last set I saw, I saw a set locally where they were four of them for a thousand, and they were brand new. You know, so that was 250 apiece. I wouldn't pay 350 for a reel. I don't care what kind of reel it is, unless it was like a collector's item that I knew. That if I was buying it, it was worth like double, <laughs> you know, that'd be the only way I would do that. Let's see here. We can take a look at some of these cart pages real fast. I'll just search it on uh, Facebook. Rainbow Rockets. Wow, you guys would be surprised what just popped up. Um, I see there were some listed for two forty a piece over a year ago. Let's see here. Let's just do Abu Garcia Rainbow. All kinds of weird stuff came up when I put in Rainbow Rockets. All kinds of weird stuff. Um, there were some for two ninety a piece. I like the chameleon ones, guys. I don't know if you've seen those or not. They they were three hundred a piece. Um, yeah, I don't see anything recent. I see nothing recent at all. Uh, I don't have sweatshirts, Dylan. I do have long sleeve um, two XLTs that fit. I mean, they're super comfy. The two XLT is, but they're only long sleeve, and I think I only have one more left. Uh, yeah, I know, Mark. Um, I'm a member of probably all of them. Uh, Dylan, I I made you a shirt that I was going to give you. So, I know you, uh, you're you in all the videos and stuff, so. I, don't, I didn't make you one of these, but I got you a red one somewhere. It's short sleeve. And you'd be like, so go, sun's out, gun's out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Christian, I'm in Indiana. I, I'm nowhere near Curry's or anything like that. I, I don't know where that's at. Is that North Carolina or? But Mark, I look at them all the time. Um, I haven't seen any good deals. It's funny, like I, when I was selling the, the black rockets, I had, you know, brand new ones. I was cutting people a good deal on them, and uh, everybody else wanted way more than that for a used one. So, Christian, I don't know who you're who you're asking. Are you asking in the chat if they do or? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't, man, I don't know if you could handle one of these, Dylan. They, they look too good, man. You might accidentally, you know, get hooked up or something. I don't know, man. Women see you in something like this, and they'd be like, oh, my God. Get bit baits and flavors? Guys, don't, if you guys 
I mean, if you're worried about women hitting on you, do not buy one of these shirts because once they see that, they're, I mean, it's over. <laughs> it's over, guys. Mark, they are. And with COVID and all that garbage, you know what I mean? Um, that's caused the prices to skyrocket because it's hard for them to get stuff in. Um, Abby Garcia, they can't keep their own reels in stock, so... Uh, Christian, I do not, brother. I do not. <laughs> That's what she said. Right, right on, Zach. Right on. Sure thing. Uh, Christian, can you stop spamming that, please? Thank you. I already told you. Three times, three, four, five times. Don't stop spamming it, please. Thank you. And yeah, Dylan, I'll hit you up in a message, brother. Um, I don't know if I have one or two more of these left. I think Zach said he might be interested in one as well. I'll uh. Like I said, I, I'll see how many I got, and uh, I'll bowl up there in Newcastle. So, uh, Zach, if you do want one, maybe I can meet you up there. I was surprised how comfy it is. I know I have a, I think I have a different color than black. I know that it's a two XLT, and I think I have another black XLT or two XLT. So, it's hard to get them the XLT sizes. Uh, yeah, ask away, Mark. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, I've seen it. What's going on down south, right, Mark? Gotcha, Zach. I may have a couple of them. I don't know. But I, I did see that program that they're trying to start up. Is that the one you're talking about? The one that's down south? I saw up here in Indiana they were starting one as well. I don't remember if it was called Major League or not. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was saying, Dylan. I'm not sure. Um, not sure if that's the one in Indiana or if that's the one down south. Is that the one that's down south, Mark? That they charge you like. A, a bunch of money to, you know, they charge you a bunch of money just to be registered into the league, don't they? Uh, we'll see you, Michael. You have a good night, too, brother. Thanks for hanging out with us. It, yeah, it's like a, um, kind of like a league or whatever, I guess, is how they're doing it. But they just travel around and, uh, you know, all the different lakes and have a tournament. Uh, yes, yeah, still, that's what he's talking about. But it's, uh, I, how much do they charge just to become, like, a part of it? And that's the thing I didn't think was cool, you know what I mean? 50 bucks. 50 is not too bad, but. And then don't you have to fish so many or something on top of that? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, 250 I mean, I don't know what the payout is on it, but, I mean, that could get expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm the same, Zach. I, I kind of stay away from it now. Uh, Dylan, that would be awesome. Um, probably don't realize it, but you actually have to have permits for that. I don't know how hard it would be to get a permit um, and to set it up, but it would be awesome. I'd like to do one and just run around and film it and talk to people. And I think that would be awesome. I think it'd be a blast. I'd like to have like a subscriber thing where a bunch of us get together and fish. Um, if we have kids, bring the kids, bring something, cook out on the grill, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I might check into it, but I'm telling you, it's pretty expensive. Or it's like a pain in the butt. Uh, well, good luck, Christian. Hopefully you do well. Uh, 
by Mark. I, we don't really have much of anything up here. Uh, 87 is not too bad, but then again, like I said, it just depends on the payout, you know. What's up, Bigster, that's sitting right beside me? <laughs> I uh, haven't haven't worked on any yet, Dylan. Uh, the wife's been busy. She's you know she works at the hospital and with the vaccine stuff going on, she's been putting in a lot of hours. So she's just been really busy. Uh, yeah, Christian, we have. That's what they're talking about. So. I think we've all done that before. But yeah, I mean, Zach, I think that'd be fun, you know, like I said, have like a little get together somewhere and everybody, you know, cook out. Maybe people bring food, drinks, stuff like that. Uh, Dylan, I haven't got the vaccine or anything. No. I don't know that I will get it. Are you going to get it, Dylan? You guys know that I Am Legend happened in, I think it was 2021 20, or something, wasn't it? And it was a, uh, the, the, a bad vaccine is what caused it. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see how 2021 goes. Oh, yeah, Zach, for sure. I mean, I'm on fish regardless, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I better wait until after 21 to find out if I want to get a, a vaccine or not. Like I said, I Am Legend was, um, I think that was in 2021 or something, and that was the failed vaccine. So, uh, Yeah, I mean, and hey, you know what? I think everybody should have the right to choose. So if you want to get it, get it. If you don't, don't. That's how I feel about it. I can see why some people would. I can definitely see why a lot of people wouldn't. Um, I, I don't think that I'll get it. But the only thing I do see happening in the near future is they'll probably come up with a lot of stuff where you have to have it to get on a plane or to go to sporting events or anything like that. I know, Dylan. You need to cut me a good deal on them and I'll buy them off of you. <laughs> Zach, me too. Oh, man, me too, brother. Oh, really, Dave? I made one of uh, Bernie Bernie Sanders today. You guys want to check it out? I actually made several. I'll pull it up real fast. You know how that Bernie Sanders thing is? It's just all over. You know, this is going to be on my, uh, this is on my Get Bent Flavors page. But, uh, that Bernie, I have no idea why this, why everybody's using that picture of him, but, um, but I decided to make one, you know, just for fun, so. <laughs> Michael, there you go. Um, the most extent I go to fishing for money nowadays is uh you know like if i'm fishing with dylan or something or my uncle we might be like oh dollar on the biggest or just something just something goofy you know we're not really out here trying to break anybody or anything like that but yeah and that bernie bernie picture went wild though didn't it guys that's crazy um, like I said, I did one and put some get bent flavors and baits on him. I thought it looked all right anyway. Michael, you might start using the, the get bent flavors, brother. You're going to be catching a ton of them after that. Yo, what's up? Kelly Bullock, how you doing? How are you doing? 
we were uh, discussing some reels. I think we're going to go with the blue ones that are on the thumbnail. Um, probably pick up three of them. Might consider four. Might try to do something with the other one. <laughs> there you go, Michael. I hope you catch a big one with them, brother. What's up, Rick? How you doing, brother? I haven't been out yet, Kelly, so I, I haven't been skunked yet. Um, but it could happen. It could happen soon. This is a bad time of year where I live to catch fish. And they, they're they pretty slow in the wintertime. I'd be slow, too, though, when it's <laughs> cold out. Uh, yeah, red grape is red grape, Christian. Sure do. There's a couple places that have it. Uh, Michael, what kind of bait are you going to put it in? Yo, what's going on, John? Uh, one bait. I would go millet and one flavor, something peach. Um, I love peach flavoring. I don't know if it catches me more than the fish, but I love it. I have a uh, super peach that is terrific. Um, I have a red peach that's awesome. Popping peach. Got got several goodies. <clears throat> grits. Well, I mean, you can't beat grits either. That's basically corn, right? So, ground up corn, I believe. Clay, what are you doing, bud? Crazy grape. There you go. A lot of people love grape. Strawberry is good. I think it's all just personal preference, guys. Whatever you have the most confidence in, really. Oh, one second. Yeah. Uh, bean mill is one of the most underrated baits I know of, guys. I've caught so many fish on bean mill, it's ridiculous. Yo, what's up? Uh, think, think now, is that what it is? Got a few people I haven't seen in the chat before. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, I, like millet, man, I just, I'll tell you what. I've caught a lot of fish on millet. I've caught some cool fish. Um, you can catch grass carp, uh, commons, mirrors, koi, goldfish. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you. But uh, yeah, I mean, to me, I really enjoy using the mill. It packs easy. I can throw it a mile. Uh, I just have a lot of confidence in it, you know. But bean mill, I've caught. I, I grew up throwing bean mill. That's the first pack bait I learned how to make. And I'll tell you, I've caught so many fish on it, it's ridiculous. That would probably be my second go-to bait. I uh, think now what kind of fish do you fish for? So we're uh we were talking about some reels and I think I think I've made my mind up. I'm gonna get the uh those blue ones on the thumbnail. Well that's awesome. Awesome. Uh what time is it over there right now? Are you still in England? Because uh it's gotta be a completely different time zone. Completely different time zone, I would imagine. I don't know what the difference is, but. What 
what's the name of it i think now put it out there you never know there could be somebody oh really it felt a little huger then that's awesome uh what's the name of uh, his lake And uh, I'm a huger myself, so good old Hoosiers. I know there's a lot of really nice uh, day lakes over there, that's for sure. You guys got some of them big fish, too. <laughs> well, it's been a minute for you. Uh, it's been a minute for sure but guys i'll tell you what um i really enjoyed the stream tonight uh, i appreciate each and every one of you for stopping in and being part of the channel i may try to do a giveaway i may try to upload a video on the uh pisafun ice fishing reel and do a giveaway on it tell you what i'll show you what that reel looks like real fast it's a really nice um ice fishing reel we may do a giveaway on it um may try to upload one sunday or whatever but it's uh, definitely a nice looking reel it's just something that i'm not going to use um but there it is you can tell it's a it's a 60 dollar reel so i'm not an ice fisherman so won't be using it anytime soon. I'd like to get it into the hands of a subscriber and then that way they can enjoy it or sell it or do whatever they want to do with it. If you guys ever win something off me, use it, sell it, give it away, do whatever you want with it. That's your choice. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to hop off here. I'm going to grab something to eat and watch me a little TV today. Been real busy, so um, appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll catch you.